Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. On behalf of Monster Bass, we're going to be talking about chatter baits. One of my favorite, favorite baits of all time. I always have one tied on year round. Doesn't matter what kind of fishery, whether it be spotted bass, largemouth, or smallmouth, fish love a chatter bait. And there's a lot of great chatter baits on the market. I use a lot of the Z-Man chatter baits. They make finesse chatter baits. They make chatter baits with larger blades. They make one of my favorites right here, the Jackhammer. And I like a variety of colors. I really like the green pumpkins, the black and blues. And then whenever I'm targeting smallmouth, a lot of times I'm going to use white or a chartreuse in white. Three eighth ounce up to a half ounce really is my standard sizes. And I like to pair them with a variety of different plastics. You guys know I love Z-Man products. I got a whole wall full of Z-Man plastics. But in this video, I was pairing them with the Diesel Minnow, which is an awesome little bait fish imitating trailer. The Z-Man Diesel Minnow. And I would pair that with a, uh, a chartreuse or, or just a straight white chatter bait. And we're going to actually go out Take you guys out there. I did a lot of searching. So on this particular day, I had a little bit of audio trouble. And so I'm going to have to talk a little bit in the background here while we're going through this. But I went out searching. I just, I really didn't have a game plan. I knew based on the day before that the fish were a little inactive and they were biting just a little off, if you will. In fact, I'm going to play a video here where I actually threw this chatterbait for a little bit in the afternoon the day before, and I missed them. I missed a couple giants, actually, uh, which was really unfortunate, but they were just a little off. On Got off. There's one. This day, I go back out and I, I plan on just doing a lot of searching. That's one good thing about this chatterbait is you can cover a lot of water. doesn't matter if it's around grass, hard structure, man-made structure, rock, open water. It's so versatile that you can throw this really anywhere. And so let's get on out there. I'll show you what I'm doing with the, uh, with the chatterbait to help me locate these fish. So I'm going to set up on an area that's got some really good shoreline. There's some good current. There's little points. There's rocky humps. It really had everything that I would be looking for for throwing a chatterbait around that type of structure. I'm using 12 pound fluorocarbon line. You can step it up 12, 14, 16, 17 even. In this clear water, I just wanted to go with 12. And all I'm doing is just covering water. I'm picking apart targets. Like for instance, this little point right here where these rocks come out. And I was able to pick up a few fish here and there, some smaller fish. But I spent a lot of time in here, and you notice I'm always looking too. Because of the clear water, sometimes I'll see the fish follow my chatterbait, or I'll actually just spot one swimming around down there. And so I just focus on hitting specific targets and covering as much water as possible. All right, too many little fish, it's time to make a move. You gotta find some bigger, bigger smallmouth today. You know, one thing, a chatterbait also makes a really good search bait. What I mean by that is it allows me to cover a lot of water. And just put the trolling motor on high and fan cast. And of course, you can get one to grab it. 
or a lot of times you'll see them follow it. And sometimes you can come around just a big group of fish with that chatterbait because a fish followed it out. Then you can look out and you'll see a bunch of fish around. So it allows you to really cover water quick and find fish. Five pounder. The old chatterbait. There we go. That's a beast there. That's the kind we're looking for. Z-Man Chatterbait, half ounce, with the diesel minnow trailer. So that one got me excited. Uh, that was just under 6 pounds. I think it was like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 something like that. Pretty good size smallmouth. So I knew I was in the right area. What that means is when I'm in open water like this, I'm not ripping the chatterbait out of the grass, I'm just fishing open water. So I really like that nice give with that rod. So it's got to have a really nice rod tip that gives to catch these fish. And it's the same rod that I'll actually uh, do a lot of cranking with as well. So. so I know that audio was a little bit hard to hear. I was talking about the rod. So you know, seven foot, seven and a half foot rod with a really good soft tip is perfect for open water chatterbait fishing. Now, if you're going to get around grass and you're going to be ripping out of the grass, you're going to want a little bit heavier rod, of course. But for this instance, I was able to get away with a more moderate action. It's actually the same rod that I'm going to throw a crankbait on. All right, I know audio is going to be a little hard, but one of the reasons why I like that soft tip is because right here at the boat, that fish is just pulling. And I'm also going to use the reel and actually thumb that bait caster and let line out manually. So I just hit the uh, release button there, and I'm holding it and letting line out with my thumb instead of relying on the drag, especially at these close encounters with a bait caster. See, a lot of times with these bigger smallmouth, I'm going to spool. I'm actually going to use the, uh, my thumb and open the bale. That's a good fish. Instead of relying on my drag. This is another good one. Them too much. This one's pretty good. Another reason for a soft tip is look how close to the boat this one hits. There he is. All right, a figure eight, yeah. Try. We're gonna try to boat flip them. There we go. Mm. 
three and a half. Nothing to see here. Fishing area. Back in the boat. Moving around, looking. Little islands. Little rock humps. Anything that looks fishy. But... A lot of times when you're throwing a chatterbait, you're going to catch more than just bass, as you can see here. Oh, not the right species. chatterbait okay let me show you how I'm actually gonna rig the uh, the chatterbait so we're gonna grab a fresh one out of here you just want to kind of especially if it's in a, been in the package for a while just make sure the uh, the skirt is flowing nicely take that hook protector off and you're going to take your diesel minnow. So the good thing about the Z-Man diesel minnows and the Elastec is that it's extremely durable. You're going to be able to catch fish after fish. You're going to be able to keep this trailer on for quite some time. And so you're not going to go through a whole lot of trailers if you're catching a lot of fish. Now the downfall is, though, you have to be really, really uh, careful how you thread this on the hook. Because it's a little trickier than other plastics. And so I'm just going to line that up and go straight in and I'm just going to push really slow trying to keep it centered in the middle of that plastic and then when it comes out I'm going to start pushing it up over that keeper and sometimes you're going to have to pull it through on both sides so the goal is to line that up perfectly straight on your chatterbait and that's going to work great right there so the whole key with the chatterbait really for me is just to cover water and keep going. In that little section there where I caught those three good ones, uh, there was a bunch. I actually saw three more fish that did not commit. And so if that's the case, a lot of times I'll have a little finesse bait, maybe a TRD. Heck, even a, believe it or not, you can take this diesel minnow and you can rig it on a little jig head and you can just flip it over to those fish that you might see and fish it just like you would a Ned or a shaky head. Fish it on the bottom. Don't necessarily have to swim it, although that works too. Here's a trick. A lot of times I'm fishing this like a Ned rig. And so I, I've, I catch hundreds of fish a year on this bait doing, doing exactly that, fishing it on the bottom. Really slow, dead sticking, a little bit of movement. That plastic is going to stand straight up and that tail's just going to go back and forth and it's going to go along the bottom scooting. Then you dead stick it. It's going to kind of, depending on the current, go different directions. Those fish are just going to come over and grab it. It's a really good technique. So I would always have something like that ready to go if you're throwing a reaction bait like a chatter bait. In case you see a fish, you can pitch right back to it with a soft plastic. All right, today open water chatterbaiting for smallmouth. We're able to catch a few. There's been a lot of good act good activity, and so I'm gonna keep uh, bouncing around here, throwing that chatterbait. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the Monster Bass channel, and hey, don't forget to follow mine, Smallmouth Crush. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.